Hi, I'm Dr. David Green with PreferredPainCenter.com, where we bring you anything and everything education for pain management. Today the topic is smoking and pain control. Does it work or not? Well, a new study out of the Journal of Pain from researchers in Oregon show that it does not work. These researchers looked at over 160 patients from a VA hospital in Portland to see whether or not smoking in order to cope with pain works. So what they did was they asked the participants, A, do you smoke? And B, do you smoke just because you smoke? Or do you smoke also to cope with your pain? And then they broke those two groups out. So the people who smoked just because they smoke, they had diff outcomes that were no different than non-smokers. But those who smoked it to cope with pain actually had worse outcomes in three different variables that they looked at. One is the level of pain. So those who smoked to cope with pain had more pain as an outcome. Two, they had less function, so ability to walk, work, do the types of things that they wanted to do. And three, they had a, had a higher fear of pain. So for those people who smoke in order to cope with pain, actually studies show now that it's a worse outcome. And this has been shown before. So smoking, you know, non notwithstanding the health problems that are associated with it, it just doesn't work. People think, oh, well, it avoids, you know, avoids my behavior. Thinking about the pain uh, can help me deal with it better. It just, the study doesn't bear that out. So at any rate, Arizona Pain Specialist offers comprehensive pain management throughout the Phoenix and Scottsdale metropolitan area with multiple locations, board certified, fellowship trained pain doctors offering medication management, interventional pain treatments, along with chiropractic, physical rehabilitation, spinal decompression therapy, and behavioral therapy, which can also help you stop smoking. Anyway, I'm Dr. David Green with PreferredPainCenter.com. Your pain stops here.